Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how the immune system protects us against pathogens. In the last video we saw that the job of the non-specific defence system is to stop pathogens from entering the body. However, sometimes this doesn't work. A good example is when you damage your skin like this. Now pathogens can invade the body and they can enter the bloodstream. Once inside the body, pathogens can multiply and they damage healthy tissue. For example, bacteria can release chemicals called toxins which make us feel unwell. So to protect us in case this happens, the body also has the immune system and we're looking at that in this video. The immune system has got two main functions. Firstly, the immune system destroys pathogens and any toxins they produce. Secondly, the immune system protects us in case the same type of pathogen invades us again in the future. So let's take a look at how the immune system works. The first key fact you need to understand is that the immune system involves the white blood cells. These have got three functions. Firstly, white blood cells can ingest and destroy pathogens, and I'm showing that here. So this shows a white blood cell and a pathogen. The white blood cell detects chemicals released from the pathogen and moves towards it. The white blood cell then ingests the pathogens like this. The word ingest means take in. In the exam, make sure you say ingest and not eat. Now the white blood cell uses enzymes to destroy the pathogens. This whole process is called phagocytosis and you should use that word in your exam. Now the second way that white blood cells can destroy pathogens is by making antibodies and we're going to look at those now. Again it's really important that you learn the details of how antibodies work. Antibodies are protein molecules produced by white blood cells. So this white blood cell is releasing antibodies. As you can see the antibodies stick to the pathogens. This triggers the pathogens to be destroyed. Now there are two key facts about antibodies. Firstly, antibodies are extremely specific. So for example, if a person catches measles, they'll develop antibodies against the measles virus. However, those antibodies will only protect against the measles virus. They will not protect against any other pathogen. Secondly, antibodies can remain in the blood for a long time. This means they can protect us in case we ever get infected again with the same pathogen. Okay, now white blood cells protect us against pathogens in another way, and we're going to look at that now. We said earlier that certain types of bacteria can release toxins. These are chemicals which can make us feel unwell. White blood cells can produce chemicals called antitoxins. Antitoxins stick to toxin molecules like this, and they prevent them from damaging cells. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the immune system in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how the immune system protects us against pathogens.